We did it, right? And the world heard us. I want everyone to understand and everyone to realize one thing. Without Monday night, charges would not have been brought yesterday morning. The arrests of six officers in connection with Freddie Gray's death have not quieted the protesters. Today, a huge crowd formed outside City Hall, continuing to call for justice. Good evening, and thanks for joining us. I'm Lauren DeMarco. And I'm Matt Acklin. A quiet and peaceful day in Baltimore today, much better than in recent days there. Let's bring you up to date on what we know. Protesters once again marched through the streets of Baltimore this afternoon. Organizers called today's event a victory rally. Many are pleased the six officers involved were charged, but people still feel like there is much more work to be done to address the issue of police brutality. Meanwhile, the curfew remains in effect for the next two nights. We have team coverage tonight. Let's begin with Fox 5's Lene Burns, who was at the rally today. Lene? Well, Matt, it does seem that peace is returning to Baltimore. Once again, we saw no violence as people took to the streets to protest. Many did express their frustrations, but they also acknowledged that this is a step in the right direction. As the crowds marched the streets of Baltimore to City Hall, this is what you hoped for. Perhaps these were literally and figuratively positive steps. Crowds, a sea of white and black faces, carried signs calling for peace, justice, communication, as well as expressing frustration. The feeling of hope for this former Superior Court judge is cautiously present. Are, are we heading in that direction, do you think? Today, I feel like we are. I haven't been feeling like we are. I'm sick of our racist wars and our racist economic policies, and I'm sick of police killing young black American men simply because they're that black and American. Get out your knees. In the past few days, quite a different scene from what we saw earlier in the week. Stop shot. Riots, looting, angry people terrorizing the streets of Baltimore and catching the attention of a nation horrified, confused and saddened at what was happening. It shows possibility that, that there are many things that problems we've got to deal with. But when you get people excited, maybe there can be a turning point in Baltimore and spark something bigger even. Sitting on the grass at City Hall, a reflective moment for one man working to get perspective on how to process all that has happened. I am feeling, I'm thinking, I'm contemplating. You know, I'm, I'm preparing for, preparing for the, the, the best but expecting the worst. You know, I'm not, you know, I, I think a, a very uh, important piece in a, a poem called um, If uh, by Rudy Kipling says if you can meet with triumph and disaster and treat those two imposters just the same. So that's kind of where my mindset is. For one couple celebrating their marriage today, the rally was significant enough to pull them away from the reception. I was so disappointed. I was shocked. I was about to cry. But now I'm here and it's something different, something special, and I guess about my husband. As they headed back to continue their celebration, the crowds continued their quest for justice, each with their own unique way of delivering that message. While the powerful presence of the military doesn't dampen the free spirit of these kids, and this message, working its way through this sea of emotions, perhaps a symbol that things just might be looking up. Now, today's rally certainly was no end to the drama that has plagued this city, but it certainly was a moment for people to come together, take a deep breath, and think about the direction they're heading.